We're rolling? Well, there's a yeah, microphone we're rolling. in this. Okay, we're rolling. Bro, bro, we, we, we started. We're you, you intro, intro. So, so happy we're finally beginning with uh, this uh, third phase of the saga. Uh, Tough Love is back. Um, I'm excited. I don't know what to expect. We actually didn't know what to expect from the beginning, but here we are. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think uh, during this episode, we, we will probably thank the audience for a couple of times, but... Uh, that, that was going to be my first thing to say. Um, we did this for fun, and it still is fun. Um, we didn't know how it was going to be received, um, but we're doing recording this number three on the eve of the release of the second, and the response has been incredible. Uh, it's been uh, learn-inducing. Uh, it's been affirming. It's been surprising um, and triggering. <laughs> well, not for us. Not for us. Not for us. Not for us. We like to trigger. We, um, when it's necessary. When yeah. it's necessary. If it, if it happens organically through onto, through authenticity, um, then this is exactly the triggering we want. Uh, I'll pull many more. Yeah. <laughs> Spontan. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you everyone, and um, yeah, we will keep it coming as long as there's an audience for it. Thank you everyone for your amazing comments. Um, Already, there's one on the new uh, the new podcast from D. Thank you, darling. Uh, I love you. Yeah. Um, and yeah, let's. Uh, we'll definitely let's get back on comments uh, today. We'll definitely get uh, some. Uh, we'll we'll try to maybe uh, read some uh, feedbacks and comments. We're totally attentive to what you have to say. Uh, we are, as Rob always says, we are always in a learning process. Uh, we want to make it better. We want to approach as uh, many topics as uh, as possible, and we want to answer your questions if you have any, or if you have any topics that you would like to us to discuss, and to to us to share our uh, visions or ideas. Don't forget, everything we're saying is uh, our uh, vision, experience, and and opinion. You don't have to take everything too personally. It's all uh, take everything, please, 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 with humor and uh, just just for the protocol. Don't but to, to clarify, to, if taking it personally means it resonates with you and helps you express something you couldn't, which is some feedback we've been getting, <coughs> or make you think of something in a different way, um, whether that has good or bad implications. Good and bad is also subjective, you know, and uh, what we're just trying to do is have interesting conversation that we find fascinating and we talk about off camera and actually thought, hey, this could be good content and we like to make good content. So this is an open conversation. Um, no, uh, no one is being judged. Uh, no one is being given advice. Even we're yeah. just talking about yeah. topics that are important to us. And as has been shown, thank you again important to our community that we care about a lot and are trying to heal. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, please uh, thank you if, again for tuning in and uh, yeah, I'm nice. really excited yeah. myself. So the, the initial, uh, initial thought of uh, behind uh, Tough Love was just to have a sincere conversation and in front of the camera. So, so our conversations that we naturally have in our natural habitat are maybe then uh, witnessed or listened to by, by other people that are not in our natural circle. Um, I felt very natural always like uh, sitting with you at the party or just uh, having a nice conversation after filming a video and I thought this vibe, this, uh, this interaction uh, could be maybe interesting for, for other people and I'm glad that uh, some people are interested. I think this was my, probably my uh, biggest fear that we, were, we would talk and uh, people would be like, okay, two random dudes uh, talking but now it's like, uh, okay, there's somebody to share these opinions. With my biggest fear is there'd be awkward silence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awkward silence, yeah. Well, you know, if, if that's us, uh, there, there will never be awkward <laughs> silence. But, uh, yeah, ha happy to see the, the that resonance. Was joke. That was the joke. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I think uh, let's get started. And uh, I, I would like to get started with the topic that uh, probably mm -hmm. uh, touched our audience or triggered our audience uh, the most in the first episode. We filmed the first and second episode right after the other, so we didn't ha have a, really a chance to... to um, to reflect, and uh, after releasing the first episode, we uh, we saw that uh, the, the the subject of partying and uh, why we party, like the motive of partying, is super interesting uh, for you all. So we got completely different uh, reactions, completely different uh, feedbacks and, and and comments, and from those learning, we would like to uh, get a little bit deeper in that uh, uh, conversation. And I would like to start with a simple question, Robbie. Um, Benny, Jajko. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it begins. Uh, why? Why do we party? Why do you party? Which question is it? Yeah, there's a, these are two questions. Why does the human being, to in your opinion, 
wants to party. So <laughs> really nice segue actually to one of the reels we posted to promote this, you know, with the um, talk about tribal experience, you know. Uh, we are by definition primal creatures and the world we live in today is not a primal one in terms of societal views. So this is an outlet for us to be human, in fact. And the issue is like, um, for my, my, my issue and why I party and how I choose my parties is this is not always appreciated for what it can be, um, but is seen as a, a, a space for uh, yeah, reckless escape sometimes, as opposed to this uh, tribal experience, which is why I believe people should party, as there are fewer and fewer ways to express yourselves in this tribal way. Um, it's, it's like, yeah, I mean, there are fewer and fewer tribes, tribes people per se, you know, yeah. who are doing it <laughs> authentically, if you like, without the need for a safe space, because mm -hmm. you somehow need a safe space to feel free to express mm -hmm. yourself in a way that is so natural to us if we don't have these judgments of ourselves and each other. Um, and yeah. Uh. So basically, if I sum it up uh, for you uh, and your envision is uh, partying is, uh, essential, is an essential part of being human, of being a free human. Um, if, okay, so, so I feel free truly in this environment. Mm -hmm. If the environment is a safe enough mm -hmm. space and I feel that I can interact with the experience and the people around me and the music, um, in a unjudged space, then we can, we can truly get to know ourselves, you know? Yeah. Maybe come back to our inner child. Um, I mean, my child couldn't have handled some of the parties I go to. <laughs> Probably not. But uh, the level of fun and the level of freedom you have the experienced. Level, the level of freedom, the level of openness, the level of, Ben, curiosity. Yes, curiosity. curiosity. Thank you very much. With, Enthusiasm. With, yeah, and actually that, that reminds me of the first episode. We're talking, yeah. about, we're talking about curiosity being um, an element of queer, queerness. Right? Yeah, yeah. Now, actually, this, this, the fact that these two are so interlinked, you know, in the same way that, you know, adults find children ir irritating, yeah. they find um, childlike expressed individuals like us yes, irritating. Yes, they yes. can't handle our I don't freedom. party anymore. People that say, I don't party anymore. Not even I'm, I, don't I'm party anymore. I never partied. What, yeah. what is this shit? This is for, this yeah. is for like drug addicts or, 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 or losers yeah. or kids, you know? Yeah. But actually, this is, this is uh, one of the few uh, safe spaces. Yeah. You have to call them safe. And this is why um, we have this, this kind of tag of you know, queerness associated with the parties that we might choose. Yeah. Uh, is because it is, it is, Forbidden somehow uh, yeah. in a in a stigmatized societal view. Yeah. So there isn't like I, I could not put my finger on one reason or one right or wrong motive to party. Um, this saying that that you had in the first episode that really triggered a lot of different reactions was, uh, in order to 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 party, you should probably it was your personal opinion. In order to party well or to party uh, in a healthy way, you should be balanced with yourselves, with your principles, and with your personal life. Mm -hmm. And people like uh, jumped off with different uh, personal opinions and said, "Oh, uh, do you mean that we shouldn't consume, or do you mean that we uh, should party only when we feel good? Do you mean that it's forbidden to party as an escapism?" And I think all of those are probably true at the same time. You know. Uh, um, you can party if you feel like it uh, to escape your reality. You are able to do it. Uh, you, you can party as part of your hedonistic lifestyle if you can afford it. You can party uh, as a manifestation of your success or a celebration of your, of your birthday. You know, we just had the, the short conversation before where I said, why do we party our birthday? Well, what is this tradition where we, we just celebrate the fact that we have lived for a several amount of time so basically, we're celebrating life. A birthday is a celebration of life. And a party, I think, is, is not different than that. We're celebrating life. And what you've tried to say, to, uh, uh, the way I see it, well, what you tried to say in the first episode is, if we are celebrating life, we probably have to go with that mindset into partying and not to go there to solve a problem and not to go there with the hope that this party or this escapism will solve our imbalance in our personal life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I think, <clears throat> I think um, there, there, there is, there is no, there is no concrete right or wrong answer because yeah. also I know that different things, like, so for example, if if something really, really bad happens in your life, and you you have to escape, yeah. you know, if 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 there's a fresh wound of 
trauma, let's say, rather than the trauma itself being so deep rooted because you're living the wrong life, for example, something like this, do you yeah. know? You need something to linger it, like for a second. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, when, it, when, it's so, when it's so raw and, 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 and you, you, just, you just need to, you need to detach yeah. and you don't have the power to detach because it's so deep, you know? Yeah. And, 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 and I've been in that situation myself. Yeah. And um, like, if something shit happens to someone, you know, and they're like, I need to party, you're like, I get it. Yeah. I get it. You know, yeah, I, yeah, we've been there. Yeah. So, so, so this is this is this is for me. Um, like, I'm not going to say right or wrong, but I will say this. I, I, I have done this. I would do this. I understand this. Yeah. Um, I support this. <laughs> I approve. You know. Yeah. Like for myself, and and um, like the 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 issue the issue um for me is 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 uh, if you don't know also why you're partying, you know, like mm -hmm. if, if you're in a party, you don't want to be there. You know, yeah. and, and and like I've I've never really understood this, but it's quite common. It's quite common. The looping inside of FOMO is quite is more common than we than we think, right? People that are partying on a on a on a regular basis you, and forget FOMO? where they came there. Do you think it's FOMO though? Like fear of missing out? Like in the, in the, in these situations, I, I don't I don't think so. I think I think this is more trying to like <laughs> actually, you know, when I first arrived, it was FOMO. Yeah. When I first arrived, it was because it was like nothing I'd seen. Yeah. And there's always something always in Berlin happening. Always, yeah. always, always. Yeah. And that sheer abundance was just so damn tempting. Yeah. And it took a while to reel in this. You like, want You don't want to miss out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But but okay, okay. So so do you think that's the case for a lot of people who are partying in this way? Uh, I think there's a lot of reasons for 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 most of the people that are caught in the circle of uh, of uh, escapism or hedonism. Uh, there are like physical reasons, like uh, um, uh, addictions. There are like social reasons, uh, like uh, uh, being lonely, wanting wanting to to be in a circle of people. Um, a lot of people in, in in Germany, and certain certainly in Berlin, are are kind of lonely. These are like this statistics. Is, this is a really nice segue into to, to something I remembered a, a, a friend of mine. This is this is before COVID. This is a while ago. Um, a good good friend of mine from my earlier years here, and um, she was she was um, she came to mind when I, I said this about being at a party not being happy. Um, I was going to Bergheim a lot of the time, and uh, she was there every weekend, every weekend without, without like religiously. <coughs> And when I saw her, she she just seemed so unhappy, and I, I I didn't I didn't want to seem at the time like imposing and say hey what's wrong you know because I hate it if people do this you know because some people don't look happy when they are you know, mm. um but then I, I really felt it and I was, I was I was like baby like are you like are you enjoying yourself here? She was like no I I really don't want to be here. Yeah. Well, I was like, and I was just like well, wait, well what the fuck are you doing? Mm. She was like well all my friends are here. <laughs> yeah. And I was like. Okay, and she's like, and I was like, well, can't you just rest if you don't want to be here and see them during the week? She's like, I oh, know, will they recover in the week? Mm. I was like, okay, I was like, so what? You, you so the, your 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 friendship circle, um, like your best friends, um, are people you only ever see in Burgheim? Yeah. Yes. And I said, that's fucking sad to me. Yeah. That's really sad to me. Yeah. Not because because and and but like also like. I was, I mean, we, we, we'd arrived to Berlin similar times. We had kind of had a similar journey into the scene, you know. Uh, she just went a lot harder <laughs> when she got to her going. Mm. Um, <laughs> but it seems she felt, she felt she didn't have a choice, you know. Yeah. And um, uh, I, was like, I was like, so, like, do you think, that, do you, think you, 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 you can only see your friends here? And she's like, yeah. So uh, I was like, well, I think that's really toxic, actually. Exactly. Self-destructive and, really and toxic. toxic. Yeah. And actually... Um, credit to her after this really I kind of was like okay I'm, I'm I, I owe myself more than to force myself to come here yeah. and maybe are these my friends yeah. are they my friends if they don't want to see me apart from here where they where yes yes we are sharing the best times together the best times of our lives in fact because they're they're, they're so incredible uh, and free you know you can share hobbies with your friends there are some friends that you maybe see only when you golf with them or you play pool with them you know I, I, I used to I used to have friends I don't used to see when I would do gym stuff with them exactly. I'd go, uh, my training partners yeah. back in the yeah. day yeah. you yeah. know yeah. Yeah. And, and and um and you know you you, you build a you build a, a real a real sense of of, of of bond with people that you're doing 
you know, your like how how you're choosing to spend your time outside of uh, study or work if you're studying or working, you know. But uh, would you see yourself training in the gym and crying about it? And I'm like, I don't want to be here, but my friends are here and I want to train with them right now. It's uh, um, absurd. Not quite, although obviously, like <coughs> in, in this in this world, you know, it like it, 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 it's a, it's a different approach to how you express yourself. And if you've got a training partner and you're 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 seriously into your weight training because you've got a you know you, you're like. I know guys that train like there's an apocalypse coming. Yeah, but they, they it's, it's a just, positive group pressure that brings you to training. Well, you and feel like you oh you like like oh like I know come rain or shine, come influenza or or shit day at work, my partner's going to be there to help me with a bar. You know, yeah. is this like so? Actually, it like you you I was I was so uh, into this lifestyle at the time that um, it wasn't even a question, and this was kind of the level she was at with with this. Um, but um, yeah, like. Actually, now she rarely parties, from what I know. I do yeah. see her from time to time, still, yeah. but we're not as close. But her life is completely different. She has completely different friends. She has uh, I, I, obviously the the COVID period um, was transformational for her, like yeah. many people, for yeah. different reasons, for <laughs> better or worse. Um, that's another topic. Um, A lot of people just incubated into their own thoughts and into their own worlds, and which can be heaven or hell, bro. Exactly. I know. I know for sure. Yeah. How do you say heaven and hell in Ukrainian? In Ukrainian, how do, you, how do you say heaven and hell in Ukrainian? Heaven and hell. Try to. <laughs> pressure, pressure. Okay, pressure. we'll get we'll get back to that topic you, you, uh, later. You can, song, you can, yeah, but yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no volume. Peklo is a hell. Peklo. Which which uh, practically means that it's uh, burning. Mm -hmm. uh, you have pekla in uh, in Russian as well. It's like uh, burning. Uh, burning. Yeah, an, adject an adjective to describe that. It's a, it's a, it's hell. It means hell. Yeah. And Bikram. heaven and heaven. Like unbearable heat. Unbearable heat. Rai, That's just Bikram Rai. yoga. Right. Huh? Bikram yoga. <laughs> <laughs> Rai is the same in both languages. So Rai, 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 Rai is uh, heaven. 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 Rai. Yeah. Um. So back to uh, the the perception that self destruction is an integral part of partying. Why do so many people conceive partying as a self-destructive, uh, or why do humans tend to self-destruct themselves while they're partying? Uh, aren't we like- Is, is, that, is that, is that I, 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 you need to explain more what you okay. mean by that. So if we are celebrating something, it's a positive occasion. You, you, we were just talking about you and your friends in the gym. They kind of make you go into training if you don't feel like it. You have a nice group pressure. At the end, it's about construction. They want you to be healthier, stronger, have better achievements. Uh, friends that pull you into Berkham or into other clubs and want you to be there while you're not enjoying it are destructing you or you're destructing yourself while trying but to be there with them. Sorry to interject, but just a, a quick a quick side note before I forget, just yeah. on, on, on this topic of the... the, the uh, um, a training partner, you know. Yeah. So, so actually, like you, you mentioned, this, this this positive outlook, you know, and, yeah. and the, the 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 structure that it brings. And actually, I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for the the kind of bodybuilding and powerlifting phase I went through, which taught me what organization of time truly meant, yeah. you know. Um, but now I just have had the chance to have this 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 foundation of 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 pragmatism yeah. with which I can explore my creative flair. Yeah. Um. Funny, I had a conversation with my good friend uh, Vitor last night, who went who's done it the other way around. Yeah. He was a wild party, and now he's doing the uh, learning the reverse skill set uh -huh. still yin, yin and yanning somehow yeah, yeah um but what wasn't mentioned was actually this kind of the 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 emotion underlying it um and i can tell from experience it's like actually okay i need someone i can rely on with whom i can then lean on to meet my goals which are actually based and i'm not saying this is the case for everyone but it was for me at the time um on protecting my fragile male ego mm -hmm. this this need to be this big bad motherfucker you know yeah. which you know actually worked in society from a, a shallow perspective yeah um but um yeah i think it's a different expectation in terms of like expecting someone to party with you because this is like still i mean regardless of the motive for the partying the outcome is still this this um um hedonistic wild um experience shared with people that you well, I mean, and this is not always the case, but for me and what I think it should be for people that you love and care about and feel safe with, you know? Is it possible to completely separate self-destruction from partying? Is it possible to, in your 
Define self-destruction, bro. Um, okay, so anything that is uh, exceeded could be self-destruction. Staying awake for too long. Um, it's like also in sport. If you if you train too much, you're gonna you're gonna have some damage. You're gonna have some knee damage, some back damage. Is there a way to? <laughs> do you think there is a there is a possibility for human beings to celebrate uh, their uh, manifestation of whatever without being self destructive? Do you think is there is there is a way for that? Um, yes. Um, I mean. <laughs> There's, there, there were so many points I could have stopped you with, 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 uh, with, with, with something to comment on. Um, so we talked about can you separate self-destruction and you started discussing yeah. it from a physical sense. So we'll start yes. with that. Yeah. So physically, yes. Yes. Yes, because I've fucking done it. Yeah. And what I mean by this, yes, sometimes I don't sleep as much as I should. Yeah. However, the because of the way that I party and what it gives to me, the emotional impact and the learnings and what i take from this um exceed with benefits by far losing sleep for one night mm -hmm. and i mean this in terms of my day-to-day -day, how i feel what this means and actually i, I like so you're talking about uh, mental health benefits well i'm talking about they're all the same thing mm -hmm. i'm talking about actually i am in better shape i look better i move better i feel better i think better mm -hmm. i interact better in every way than when I was 26, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And at the time I was doing the, you know, yeah. normal recommended prescribed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and actually because the of- normal recommended prescribed yeah. bananas. And <laughs> <laughs> well, so partying and, and this is also a good one for self-destruction. Nice segue, spontan, it yeah. works well. <laughs> <laughs> so when I was partying in the UK, yeah. Um, we just said drum and bass and I played you the, the jump up clip, yeah. which yeah. found entertaining, <laughs> very different to techno, um, still sick. Um, <laughs> um, like this was self-destructive how I partied then. And this is because the whole approach was different. My whole life mentality and approach was different because um, of the cost of living and the way London operates and the way I experience London and many young professionals do, um, you don't party that often you yeah. because you can't because of time and expense and planning and the people who are available and trying to find an event everyone likes and because it was a very group mentality also, you had your raving crew. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I do to an extent now, you know, I have a raving family actually, yeah. um, but also um, I'm happy to go to a party alone if that's the one I want to go to. Yeah. Uh, that's how I've had both, most of my best times. Yeah. Um, and yeah, well, well, I lost my thread. <laughs> so we're, we're talking about. Um, I try to envision uh, a place uh, where we oh, can we can I party found, without self destruction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, f I found it again. Sorry to jump. Yeah. Um, so we're talking about self destruction. I was talking about my UK party experience. Mm -hmm. So the the party weekends were few and far between and they were binging hard. Yeah. And not just because it was a weekend that everyone was together. Obviously, that's another element, you know. Um, <laughs> long after parties with the laughing balloons, you know, not, we were uh, that's so big in the UK or was anywhere. I don't know if yeah, you Yeah, they're so popular all over the world. Yeah. You know? But like actually because of the shorter party times, you're binging your drugs. You're yeah. binging your alcohol. You're yeah. binging whatever it is you'll come there for. To, yeah. yeah. And, and and you feel the the the, the rush because yeah. we're on the time, guys. You're yeah, on the like time. Prohibition times. Um like <sighs> my my uh, my bro Oli uh, is in, in living in Australia now. Um one one of my one of my few um few close friends who I'm still closer from before uh, coming to 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 look well, leaving the UK. Um the amount of times that we would um be kind of uh, taking a break before the one last dance and then the party gets cut an hour early and it's just the worst feeling in the world. When yeah, you, you take a break and then yeah, it's just, just getting ready for the last, you know, yeah, for the closing yeah. and then there yeah. is no closing. Yeah. And um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you're, like when this happens to you once or twice, you're like, right, I'm not stopping, you know? And, yeah. and um, this is self-destructive. This is self-destructive, not only because of the way you're partying, but because, and this is my experience, I'm not speaking for everyone, but um, I, I, you know, I felt like, because the life I was living in London, with a blueprint life, good job, you know, expensive rent, you know, like 
<laughs> aspiring to have wife and kid, you know the usual. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And 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 um, this was not resonating with my soul, mm -hmm. but I was still doing it. So, like, when I finally find a place where I can uh, be free to an extent, although my perception of freedom has changed, um, you go wild. You go wild, and it's the only thing you're looking forward to. Mm. And and that that that's that's a big shift in mentality that I had found moving from this lifestyle to. Um, you know my my uh, existence in Berlin um, is like uh, actually my, like my my life my life is 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 aligned with who I am now. So I I I'm not looking. For, I mean I have I have amazing things we're looking forward to. Uh, mashallah. <laughs> <laughs> but but actually 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 it's like I I'm not needing to escape. And when I talk about parting as escapism, like we did, I I know it very well because I used to do it. It's just that when I was doing it in 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 London, um, the implications are less because you know, well, less in turn. Not like, like <laughs> okay. Let me rephrase this. Um, there is less space with more discipline. So the the there aren't as many, from what I've seen, extreme cases of wow. That's quite obviously unhealthy. You know, um, isn't it more destructive in Berlin where everything is allowed and it's like always available and unlimited in time? And that, that's my point. That's my point. Yeah, and, and, and that wasn't that wasn't the case in London. And and that and you know, people ask me. Um, no, I mean, I mean, isn't it isn't it in Berlin even more dis uh, destructive? If I, we used to go sometimes to places like uh, Griesmüller on Sunday afternoon, and we saw like people uh, washing themselves. Rest in uh, peace. Rest, rest in peace. peace. Rest in peace. Yeah. Definitely rest in peace because uh, yeah, there is no grease mill anymore in it, terms of. Uh, that, that, that's that's why I said rest in <laughs> peace. Rest, that's in peace. rest, rest in, peace. in peace. You rest in peace yeah. there. Um, yeah, I mean just. Uh, Marky, 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 <laughs> Marky and I just uh, we saw some uh, some crazy shit going on there on the Sunday oh, afternoon. I Pe mean, people li living there since Friday, home. like uh, watching. <laughs> Washing their teeth and uh, and uh, like that was me, but I just had chewing gum. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I what I'm saying is, uh, isn't even more doesn't does doesn't Berlin give even more place for that for the destruction with this uh, total uh, freedom and um, I, I call it open holes and open Pandora boxes. Well, you would and, then. Huh? You would. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everything is allowed. It's always available. It's always there. Isn't it even more dangerous? Um, potentially, yes. Yeah. And this is why Berlin is so wie ein Spiegel, just like a mirror, you mm -hmm. know? Because if you are not conscious, if when I say conscious, I mean aware of yourself and reflecting and actually contemplating. I really love the uh, analogy of Berlin to a um, to a mirror. I never thought about it uh, this way till now, but uh, I always uh, call it differently, different names. What would but, you call it? Uh, sometimes I call it the Olymp, I, um, because many people that come here in the last years are complaining about uh, loads of uh, stuff, and I told them, uh, well, it's the Olymp. You have to pay to be here. You have to bear the price. You are at the top of something, and uh yeah my, my friend my friend uh eileen uh, she she said berlin is a son of a bitch <laughs> nah, it's a son of a bitch yeah. i mean <laughs> and, and and well i, I like i don't see that well, i mean i mean depending on how you how you tone or the context this yeah. this phrase yeah, yeah it can be really bad or really good yeah, you know? yeah. In Hebrew, you have the same. If you call something um, benzona, it's like son of a bitch. But if you say something is benzona, it's like son of a bitch. It's like so next time I see, you know, I see Ben in the sauna. Yeah, I'll be like, and Ben in the sauna. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> you know, like, you know, I, love, I, love, I love this. Like, so so when, when, um, when, you, when we talked about this, this podcast for the first time, and we were like, yeah, let, let's, let's fucking do it. Yeah. The thing came into my head was this uh, Rick and Morty meme. Yeah. When uh, uh, Morty's just like, you son of a bitch, I'm yeah. in. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> that is, was the mood. That was exactly the, the vibe. This is the mood. Yeah. And, that, and that was a good son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. So this is my Berlin. Yeah. Thank you. Berlin. Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so coming back to the mirror uh, analogy uh, the me or metaphor, 
Yeah. I really like it because uh, Berlin gives you what you want to get out of it. Uh, Berlin gives you your reflection. No, it uh, gives you what you need. Um, because, well, what is what you need? You know, uh, what is what you need? What is what okay, you want? Do touche, we know what touche. we want? Um, it gives you at least a reflection of the the frequency that you create. Maybe sometimes you get a you get shocked by the the the, the feedback that you get, but then you get the mirror picture of what you did of what you invested now this this i agree with and this is the mirror part the issue is <laughs> not everyone likes what they see in the mirror oh yeah and this this can hashtag acid people don't <laughs> <know>. <laughs> hashtag the alpha. music the music yeah of course acid uh, <laughs> wah, 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 wah. yeah I, I i just mean that a lot of people are afraid of their uh, reflection yeah um some people are terrified terrified mm -hmm. terrified mm -hmm. yeah um dare i say many you know i'm not gonna say most that's too that's too um presum presum presumptuous mm -hmm. no that's nice uh, that's assumptuous that's assumptuous mm -hmm. that's assumptuous even better yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> even, even better even worse ASMR. <laughs> you're asmring the people today <laughs> hey baby <laughs> assumptuous yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, Berlin. Um, what I want to say about Berlin that on the on the one hand it's like yeah, it's the party is always there. It's always allowed. Everything is allowed. It's free. Uh, on, so so on the one hand it's it's always dangerous. Wait, 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 when you say free, free the, like the the fine the fine way you say it is free. Oh, many aspects in Berlin are free. Uh, we can start with the concept with the concept of uh, safe spaces where you can act as you want. Or we can uh, talk about prices, which are almost free in comparison to places like Tel Aviv and London. You can almost party for free. You can party like with twenty five euros in your in your in your uh, pants. You know what I mean? Uh, if you if you if you don't have a hundred euros in Tel Aviv uh, to party with to start with a Friday, you're you you not you're not gonna really party. In Berlin, you I can mean, you can go for twenty five euros. Pretty much any Western capital. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could agree. Yeah. Um, so. But I also see the other side of the coin. And the other side of the coin uh, for me is if everything is allowed, then after some time, it's not even that interesting anymore. It's not tabooed. And if it's not tabooed, you don't... Uh, so uh, so yeah. I, I, apple I agree. Principle. I agree with this principle. I agree with this principle. Yeah. Um, the thing is, like, some people don't get past this, um, let's say, raw hedonism. Yeah. This, this some people just keep eating the apple and yeah, there's no apple yeah, anymore. Yeah, I I mean I mean so 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 some of the some let, let, let's say let's say some of the buffets that I've I've feasted at, you yeah. know, of hedonism. <laughs> like the when I arrived <laughs> in Berlin, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean you, you know what I mean. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I know what you mean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean that Chinese place in Spando, of course. <laughs> <laughs> now that is hedonism. Do you okay. know how much do you know how much monosodium glutamate is in that shit? Oh, <laughs> wow. Wow, <laughs> the main ingredient see, in the country. Ben's fetish is bathing in monosodium glutamate. <laughs> <by the way. laughs> Do you mean the pool of Kit Kat? Or <laughs> oof, oof, <I'm laughs> I think there's a lot of sodium there. No, we we got to leave Kit Kat out of this yeah. now. They're, they're, okay, <laughs> we, we've talked a lot. A lot. Of, we give them a lot of airtime. I must say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, it's a legendary establishment. Yeah, it's either there? sodium or just a lot of bathing salts. I, I, it's interesting because like I know a lot of people um, who I've got to know over the last six months yeah. who are really thoroughly embedded in the Kit Kat community. Yeah, and they are incredible people. I, I totally I, I, fucking I, I, so love. Totally agreed. Uh, you you have to say if you if you talk about Kika if you give Kika a compliment you have to add fucking to it so totally fucking agree with you on okay. on Kika I saw the community on one of their club community nights. is fucking great it's great, fucking great 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 I even had sometimes more of a community feeling there than I had in Berkheim because Berkheim is just woo, like a huge banhof well huge I mean, maybe hang on but hang on like like do too much I would love? I would I would. No, I mean, I, I would go as far to say that I don't feel a community in Bergheim when all, I go, re like all. when I, I mean, also, also can, I, can I say just a I small anecdote while. about the Bergheim community? Just, I, I hope I'm, or whatever, if I'm, if I'm forbidden from going there because of that anecdote, uh, then I am, but uh, listen. You're forbidden <laughs> just for saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm forbidden for, <laughs> for, 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 for even saying if you say that an anecdote is worth. If you say the blacklist, you're on the blacklist. Yeah. How do, how, oh, question, trivia, how do they pursue a blacklist? Um, do they have photos of everybody in their minds? How do they recognize? Because we had a friend, a common friend of ours, that was like uh, on the blacklist, and he started wearing a wig and going as a as a female. I don't know if he's the same person, but I know the exact same. I know he's this. A, I know he's this. a he's a masseuse. <laughs> uh, no, this this guy's no masseuse. Uh, <laughs> that I'm aware of. 
okay. unaware of. <laughs> Baby, if you're massi- if you're massaging. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we 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 had a friend that uh, that's not the anecdote yet, but uh, we have a friend that was uh, forbidden from going, and then they started uh, taking other identities. Why were they forbidden? Uh, he, uh, something that he had in his pocket, some uh, yeah, some uh, some bananas. Sissy for ticket. Yes. To be honest, I think that uh, uh, Berkheim goers are way more uh, being uh, uh, being harshly criticized in Katablau and Sisyphus way harder than uh, those people will be, will, would be criticized in Berkheim just for the protocol. Wait, we wait, were, we so, were a couple sorry, of times I didn't wearing, get it. I didn't get it. Criticized okay. for what? Okay, okay. So uh, we were a couple of times wearing black uh, 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 in the line for uh, Katablau and in the line for Sisyphus, and we were laughed at or just criticized for wearing black. We came in at the end. Yeah, it wasn't the issue, but people are g- getting laughed at because um, the, the the door people at, at Kata and at, at Sisyphus, they're like they 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 want to give you the vibe that everything is allowed. You have to, you can be uh, colorful and whatever, but you are being uh, judged as uh, if if you look like uh, technoish. So so um, I remember ooh, late 2018, early 2019. Um, this is when I I'd already. Um, Grown out, grown out of is the wrong word. Um, evolved from, um, yeah. for my for myself from clubs like Catabao, clubs like Sissy Force, yeah. uh, clubs like. Not saying that those people yeah, no, are uh, back. We don't need to this, do a disclaimer is a, every it's time. It's a circle. Like, it's not a forward and backward. Actually, maybe we yeah. do if this is a real. It could we be a should, real. We, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, always, always, always do a disclaimer. Just a quick one. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, introduce the lawyer on the next call, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Find my friend, the nice Jewish lawyer. We should. Uh, Find my friend. <laughs> I think we should play that in the beginning, just a, a f- ten second uh, rights uh, and, parental and advisory, explicit content. Exactly, exactly. Um, yeah, how, yeah. W- everything here is a parody, so yeah, don't take any it any any uh, coincidental um, resemblance to real life characters yeah, or people. Yeah. And hurt yeah. feelings are yeah. yeah. Please um, take care of your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. No, so, so yeah. Wait. 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 Evolved, evolved um, from Kata. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, um, um, though, though she, she was still, this was her vibe, you know. Um, she was, I can say, a resident guest at Burning Man. Um, so very, very. Very Kata Blau. Huh? Very Kata Blau. Genau. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, so th- this is her vibe. Um, and, um, but, but she's also, um, a front left Bergheim bitch. And I mean that in the best possible way. Perfect. Yeah. What a universal raver. So, so, she, 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 like, She's versatile, wonderful, and she went once, um, and un- unusual to do it this way, but she went from Bergheim in her Bergheim outfit to Sissy Force, yeah. and they said no fucking way. They said no fucking way? Yeah, it's like, th- like no chance. Yeah. No but chance. They, 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 they said, they said, if you, like, they said like, you can come, but wear but something colorful. Uh, my question is, isn't black also a color on the palette? Of the colorful palette? I'm um, just saying, black, no, black, is actually, uh, black is actually the, the combination of all colors. Isn't it white? Sorry no, for being racist again. Negative. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. There's this, negative. there is this wheel negative. of colors that you spin fast sure. and it turns into white. You know. Well, I mean, there's this egal, experiment egal, in, egal. in physics where uh, you just spin it and it turns white. Just what I'm saying. This okay, you know, okay. I'm talking only physics right now. I'm not talking no, about yeah, any no. other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so right, at the no end, more disclaimers. At the, at the end, she didn't. <laughs> it's tough come. love. <laughs> yeah. I just I, I want to sum it up. She wasn't let in into a club that is actually vibe wise way more uh, hippie and easygoing and chill than Berkheim because she looked like she was coming from Berkheim or she looked like somebody that likes to look like a Berkheim person or a techno. I, fan. I mean I mean it could have been any of the above. And uh, we, yeah. we we don't know what, what the rationale is. I was yeah. very surprised because I, I had the same view that um, like yes, you have to queue for two hours or yeah. whatever, but yeah. but but you're gonna get in, and this is kind of evident by the queue because yeah. they're not wearing <laughs> the uniform. Yeah, for one, but but also because I, like I could um, if I watch observe uh, twenty thirty Sisyphus uh, guests, I could uh, um draw a line i could draw a line of uniform between them as well i was at some parties where all the boys were wearing uh um uh how should i call it uh mm, leggings in shiny colors you know <laughs> they uh, were they weren't wearing uh, black harnesses but they had a uniform as well so where is the i mean but but, but also but also like 
Um, whilst it's not as commonplace, I do see outfits like what you just described in Burgheim. Oh yeah. Oh, I say I say it like I'm going regularly. Like like yeah. like I I feel I feel, I feel like like. Oh, like if you're coming to, to any party, if you're expressing yourself in, a, in 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 any in any way, yeah, then you look like you're in a in a you're you're in a in a space to express express yeah. yourself more in this environment when with other other people who are colourful. Yeah. I think this is a very common mistake, and m many influencers and uh, bloggers are already talking about it openly. And uh, and I, to my opinion, they do correct doing so. Um, there is no outfit for Berkheim. I think uh, whatever people consider this place to be, uh, this is still a very versatile place uh, for very creative and colorful uh, people that do express themselves. And uh, the door does not handle your outfit. It normally, to my opinion, just handles your vibe. Yeah. I, 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 I would have agreed with that a couple years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so... Of course, it handles uh, uh, your outfit. No, wait, it's wait, part, wait, wait, it's part wait, wait, of your wait. Vibe. So, so, yeah. so, 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 yeah. like, and I have a, a much stronger opinion on this now because I'm yeah. I'm now relatively experienced with selection, you know, mm -hmm. and and I am proud of what I do. Yeah. And actually, the 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 the, the level of interaction, the depth of interaction, and the desire to to do the emotionally intelligent thing in that moment. Uh, has meant that um, I often have quite a long interaction with someone before deciding. Mm -hmm. um, and often, often, you know what? I've decided the second I met them, but I love them and I want to talk to them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The interaction on the Bergheim door is, you feel How many? Yeah. Zwei? Uh, yeah, order nine. Hashtag uh, East Berlin, I would say. And, you know, like actually, and this is the painful part, this, 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 this can work like for the crowd they're creating, you know. Yes. But this goes back to sort of like, is there a community anymore in Hein? Yeah, know? which brings me back to my anecdote, and uh, which was remind me of the anecdote. Okay, so I, I didn't tell you yet. So <laughs> you haven't told me yet. Yeah, <laughs> the the anecdote of the Berkan community easy, is, easy. is is as follows. Uh, we were uh, we we said that uh, for us uh, for our observation uh, there is a community in KitKat. There's a stable, big community in KitKat, super nice, super welcoming, super warm. It was a big surprise for me. I didn't feel anything that made me come into hey, their vibe. Shout out to the fucking KitKat crew. Yeah. You have to swear, remember? Wh which, which one? You have to say fucking. You have to say fucking. Ah, yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> That's your role, not okay, mine. Okay, so the, the, fucking, <laughs> the fucking community of uh, KitKat, um, yeah, we're going to so much, uh, we're going we're gonna to censor that, uh, the shit out of the, this uh, episode, I think, this time. You said that last time and it was... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, just to compare, um, you can say, you may say whatever you want on the comparison between KitKat and Berkan as clubs, as musical uh, who's institutions. Who's comparing? A lot of people. A lot of people are comparing institutions in Berlin. This is part of the game. Trezor also? Yeah, you can, you can bring Trezor. We can talk about Trezor. We okay, can talk to about that Trezor might be another in, episode. Yeah, another tab or another episode. We can talk about it like even, even in that episode for a minute. But the anecdote is like that. Where? For me, uh, I, in my personal view, I or my personal observation, I saw the community of Kitka. I saw how they they have uh, their own uh, vibe, guidelines, uh, a feeling of coming together. And the anecdote about about Berkheim is the, the only feeling that I had of a community there is the people that I know there that come so very then, often. Can I take a sheet of paper just in case yes, there's yes, a point yes, I want to yes. make, but I don't want to yes, interrupt yes, you? Yes, 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 definitely, <laughs> definitely. I'm giving you one right now. I mean, it may be too late for this point, but at least then I've got it for the next one. Huh? <laughs> um, so now I feel important as well. <laughs> after coming to for a dance in Berkeley for several uh, several times, uh, I've noticed that there is a community in terms of people that keep coming, but the the experience that I that I had with some of them are pretty close friends of mine. Most and of them. Sorry, this just is still a KitKat community you're referring to. No, no, we're talking about Berghain. The Berghain yeah. community. Yeah, KitKat is all good. Surprised me with their community. Surprised me with their with their welcoming and warm vibes. So it's your and old, I your thought, okay, friends, wow, so. community check. And then I I started uh, uh, observing is there is like is there a community in Berghain? Because many people said there is no community anymore. There is no this. And I started talking and to to some close sorry, friend of mine. Since COVID. Um. 
So the people I'm, I'm t- referring to and the people I'm talking about are, some of them are close friends, some of them are, are less close friends, but they are coming to Berkheim way, way before COVID. They have been there almost since school, the opening. Yes. And, and so this is why I'm trying to, to see them as a, um, as a uh, hmm, how should I say, for me, they are the, probably the, the, the rest of, or, of, of, of the community of what suppo- was used to be the community of Berkheim. And, and the anecdote is that the, the vibe that I get from most of them is just a repetitive text that they say, Berkheim is not what it used to be. Berkheim doesn't have a community anymore. And Berkheim is full of tourists. Oh, this party is, uh, I don't know about this party. Uh, a lot of tourists today. And uh, just a month ago or two months a ago. I, yeah, yeah, but, but a, a couple of months ago, I was, I was at a party there. Oh, a very good evening. Uh, very sel- seldom. Um, mm, Virginia, Steffi, uh, Efdemine. Like, uh, be, very good artists, uh, more or less residents, and the guests were, were beautiful people that I know for years, uh, people that I know that have been going pre-COVID. And like after talking to, to those friends, like two, three, four of them, I got almost the same feedback from all of them. I felt the party was amazing, uh, and I'm like not the less experienced. Uh, rave. I'm, I, I have some raving experience. I can, I can judge for myself if that's a good party or not. It was, a, it was a beautiful party for me, and all of them were upset. All of them were like, Bergen is not the same anymore. The, it's, uh, there's a lot of tourists today here, and um, uh, there is no feeling of, of community. While I've been observing uh, the, the situation, and there was a lot of the community, the community there. So my anecdote is, there is a community. It doesn't see itself anymore as a community, and that's why there is probably no community if, there if, anymore. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. I mean... There are just I, I can't I can't comment on this excuse me <laughs> I can't comment on this older generation at all yeah. um I mean I say at all I, I I definitely know um some ravers from the older generation who I can call my friends um but I don't really talk about this stuff with them yeah um just I, I never talk with them about the term community I never ask them about I mean, it I, mean, I just it, observe it, their it, their it, feedback it on the parties yeah I mean I mean we we have a mutual friend who was uh yeah, uh, uh, I I love how <laughs> he's like he, our mutual friend. We must say he's like a a, f- a foot a football fan, not not a not a real football fan. I but want he, to see where this is yeah. going, bro. Uh, yeah, he's like he's a f- club fan, but he's always criticizing the 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 club. Like he he loves he loves his his club, but he's still criticizing all the time. He's like. Uh, yeah, for, and for me, he embodies the <laughs> the general vibe of the of the Stammgast, of the of the guests that are keep the old they're, god. They're the always, old, yeah, the old yeah, god. Yeah, they okay. keep on coming and they keep on complaining. You know, so title of your sex tape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So that was the that was the anecdote about Berkheim. I think I think both have probably uh, KitKat and Berkheim have their own cores. They have uh, younger communities, some older communities. But at the end, of course, you cannot stop in uh, Berlin the gentrifying process. You cannot uh, stop the the process of of tourism, uh, of the waves of, of 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 social media and recommendations, bringing different clu- uh, people into the clubs, uh, people that even make it through selection uh, while not being uh, an, an initial part or core of of the club itself. And it's a natural process. So, so that that is also. A segue to something I'd already, already, already written down to, yeah. to bring up. So, like, and there's still more stuff, but yeah. classic. Yeah. Um, normal. Um, <laughs> so, you mentioned about tourist. Tourist. Yeah. Now, this has so many meanings um, and interpretations for real yeah. because it has negative connotations. Yeah. And I can say about for like when I was doing selection at Suicide Circus yeah. and, and also 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 for other places, but particularly there. How would Berlin live without tourists? Well, so, so <laughs> but <laughs> and there's so, so this, this is obviously the techno tourist, which has within it different things. We yes. like so, and and, and I'll, I'll give like the two recent examples. Um, you know, so I have um, you know like some wonderful friends uh, from Madrid, uh, uh, Yago and uh, Coco Yaman. They were here like a couple of weeks ago, and then others coming this weekend. Um, the the gang Ash and Eric and. Um, uh, Jakob and Andrea and uh, from from uh, Stockholm, they're tourists. They're tourists. They don't live here. They're tourists. Yeah. But these are people who are coming for the right reasons. As I, as I see it, with the celebration, there's a different word for that do. category of people. Tell me, these are pilgrims. 
There you are. There you are. Yeah. So toxic people, time for a pilgrimage. <laughs> yeah, I think what what the what the Berkein uh, Stammgasts mean is that they call tourists people that are uh, not familiar with uh, the general uh, vibes, <laughs> and the pilgrims are just their friends coming from other uh, branches of the same temple from other places, and these are not considered like, to be I tourists. Like, I like this. I like this, um, and um, it's funny because we say other branches of the same temple, like. Some time ago, I felt like the temple was was Berghain and you know the other branches were like your like uh, uh, equivalent. Um, the club without the name. Cities. Yeah, we yeah. haven't talked well, about well, the club without name. I mean, <laughs> I I I've, oh man, I like like it's crazy that they, that they have things going on right now. Uh, yeah, I've had super I've had, crazy. And super I've had, fun I've had, to I've hear. Had several several friends message me from Kiev saying yeah. Are you going to come. You know. Yeah. Um, there is uh, something happening in uh, May, and uh, yeah, we've been playing with that thought uh, as well, and uh, I hope we can we can make it. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. It's very very fun to to hear that's and to listen and to see. And that, watch that's, and that, that, that's I'm feeling a lot of emotion hearing you say that. Yeah. All kinds of emotions. I think I think there is no place on earth right now that really earns a rave like uh, like well, Kiev and like Ukraine in general I think I think Ukraine earns a rave every single day I think the people there have now a, a, the a motive, reason to party. motive the biggest reason and, to party uh, yeah exactly so this is something we actually didn't mention in the beginning we were talking about hedonism escapism there is a little bit of escapism in that but I think the rave motive in Ukraine right now especially in Kiev is uh, but wait, hey, sorry quick interjection yeah. like yeah. like we talked about this tribal um energy and, yes. and you know it being what it is to be human yeah and what brings a people closer together than yeah. fighting for survival from uh yes. dark overlords <laughs> 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 you know, I, they, 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 this is this is this is like okay like actually i think it's a we, lot of things it's not it's not only the fighting for survival it's always it's also like uh, the 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 uh, letting loose of that of that pressure of their fears and of I, the, I don't the like the, I process. don't like the word I use survival I, I feel like yeah. that's the wrong word because yeah. that, that that makes it sound like that Ukraine yeah. is under threat Ukraine is under attack it is not under threat yeah Ukrainians are the most yeah. resilient strong empowered yes. expressed people I've encountered you yeah. know I've encountered a lot of people and, maybe and their rave is a is a victory dance is a victory pray a victory blessing toits <laughs> not yeah. Yeah, which uh, yeah brings I mean, us it, it, uh, every 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 day. Uh, every day you say "fuck Putin." That's a victory. Yeah. Every day. <laughs> nice one. Nice. So uh, yeah. yeah. So um, the, <laughs> to sum up, uh, to sum up, maybe to come back to to the very beginning of uh, like how. <laughs> the very, very beginning of life. The very beginning of life. Uh, <laughs> Finally, yeah. a good question. <laughs> <laughs> genesis. The genesis of rave. The yeah. So um, it's nice to add that. Um, that that special element of uh, of of healing in rave. So there's hedonism, there is escapism, and there is the healing effect of uh, of group tribal uh, 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 rituals, and there Good is word. the yeah, and there is the and, and not only healing, also uh, the the aspect of prayer and and mutual blessing and the the charge that you can which recharge part again. which part is like prayer which part is like prayer mm -hmm. uh, the meditative part the part uh, there there are a lot of ways to interpret uh, the word prayer but I think the 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 part when you that's why we should define yeah when you when you dance and you are in complete balance with yourself and with the complete in a complete balance with your group uh i think this is a this is a this is an authentic prayer a prayer is a lot of people conceive we can go religious right now we can go esoteric right now but people a lot of people c conceive um prayer as a as a something you ask for yeah you you sit in front of your bed like like the most christians do before they go to sleep you ask something for some for, you, you ask somebody some some uh, higher being for something but i i try to percept uh, a prayer a little bit differently for me a prayer is first of all a blessing for what i already have and setting my thoughts and manifesting them towards what i would want or need or wish for the people around me and 
what a beautiful place to do it like with your friends while uh while giving everything away your body energy while being on the same frequency if you share one musical frequency if you share the same visuals even you are completely one and you're blessing what you have this is a prayer for me and once more a great segue into uh, uh an anecdote we'll use off that like um so uh, uh jp um st uh, pray praying regularly you know yeah um in uh, a beautiful um but conventional based on this description way you know although when we have these moments that you're describing as prayer you know together um at the like peak emotion you'll turn to me and be like bro do you believe in god <laughs> <laughs> yeah and, and well, this, is, uh, this is this is this is like this moment which is comparative to a religious experience you know of and course. this is this is where this Bergine is my church comes from of course um mm -hmm. i think a church a religion a cult is just uh the 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 human uh, <laughs> church religion uh, cult uh, yeah <laughs> people try to just put uh, things uh, in frame and to define them and give them standards things that they sometimes uh, emotionally or, or uh, analytically don't understand and this is how churches and, and and religions are created a rave i think a rave is uh based on many of uh, the similar principles as uh, a church or, or a religion, but it, the freedom that it uh, uh, holds in itself and, and well, allows the, the, the people uh, in it. I, I just want to give a good example. You, you ask, what is a prayer during so a rave? We're both writing frantically, yeah, yeah. bro. The tabs are crazy. <laughs> uh -huh. I think, I think in, a, in a church, you're sometimes uh, even in a, uh, very, uh, in a very similar uh, position where you can pray on your own, pray in a group, have your own thoughts and blessings, uh, be part of the, of the, of the mutual uh, prayer. It's the same while, while, uh, while being in a, in a rave. The, the dancing process could sometimes, uh, again, I'm talking about myself, sometimes I can disappear in my own head. Sometimes I can only observe and be completely in what is happening around me. But is I that consider a all too? this. A That's a prayer too. Yes, completely, completely. Mark was uh, also talking in uh, his uh, conversations uh, with uh, with Kara about this meditative uh, process that he has when he closes his eyes and can, dis can disappear in the moment or be completely aware and 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 in the moment. Which is for me everything. Uh, everything in 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 that kind of uh, direction is a prayer. Yeah, yeah. I think I think um, this being in the moment, uh, living mindfully, um, being uh, away from, and it's also why why it can be used as escapism because this is this is by definition, you know, um, you can be you can be in this um, yeah uh, re yes yeah, religious religious trance almost where. So I, I I lost my train of thought. What, what, <laughs> watching you playing with your phone. I um I would like to before we uh, we are approaching the the end of the the episode. We don't want to Very fast. bore the people too much. Yeah, yeah. If we we start we start opening tabs, it's like time is running like the double fast. You can't. Yeah, I mean I mean we got to save some for number four. <laughs> um, there is a there is a topic that I wanted to to touch for a second. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna do it this time. Maybe we'll just start I with mean, this I mean, bomb next time. Can, Mark, um, can we start another topic now at 58 minutes? <laughs> okay, so I would like to use that short time uh, to, to read some of the to feedback. To talk to our sponsors. <laughs> Actually, we, are we allowed to do that? Yeah. Okay. So I I, I just I, I just uh, marked some some of the nice uh, feed or interesting uh, feedbacks we had on the on the first episode, and I just wanted to to, to read them and to hear your your feedback. So uh, B E X. Sh 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 uh, shall we do? How many should we do? Shall we uh, like three, four? I think I is think, enough. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, three. Mark okay, says three. Okay, so okay. Um, uh, this is why he's Let's called Mark. He's giving the mark. Yeah, it's a symbiosis. Uh, <laughs> okay. A brutal threesome. Uh, Bex. <laughs> <laughs> Be Bex uh, zero R or Bexor uh, says. Uh, oh, are we reading out their handles? Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So be beware for future. You will get. I called mean, it's out. open. It's open. <laughs> it's on Instagram, so we can. Okay, and, okay. And, the, and the feedback is completely positive. So I, I don't think that Bexor will have anything against it. I, I, we would just. Okay, okay, we would okay, like okay, to express okay. our, our. I mean, to be fair, I, I I literally named someone in the first the first minute. To yeah. The, so yeah. We're, we're good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she or he or them. We're in it uh, together. We're in it together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, we're taking it in together. Gotcha. Yes, yes, and hell yes. Also, progress over perfection. You can be working towards this goal and be uplifted in ceremony, build in public. Um, 
I think it's beautiful because it, it kind of refers to what we said in the first episode, but it does connect to what we have been just talking about, this ceremony, this prayer. Call it wherever you call it. It's a process. And that's why I think people that carry a weight with them, people that um, do escape or do have problems and still want to party, they have the full right to do so. That's part of their process. People that celebrate their life and, and have a beautiful daily life and have nothing to regret, nothing to escape, they have the same right to do so. Yeah. So uh, also regarding our process here, this whole this whole podcast, like progress over perfection. I love it. I used to be such a perfectionist. Now I know the progress is like way more important. The way is way more important than the perfect result. You know. So shout out to Bexor for this uh, beautiful uh, feedback. You want to say something about that? Uh, yeah. I was just uh, I was thinking like um, when you're talking about your yeah, progress over perfection, it feels like. Yeah. Uh, Analogy I like to use is a roller coaster. Yeah. Wie sagt man auf Deutsch? Roller coaster. Uh, roller coaster, uh, ba- Achterbahn. And what about in Ukrainian? Can you tell me the Americans? No, for later. Oh, unless you know. Uh, later, okay. later, Thank later, you. later. Later, later, later. Later, later. But it's like a roller coaster, like. Um, Americans here. Yes. I <laughs> okay. Actually, like, forget the roller coaster for a second. It'll be a graph, a line graph going yeah. like this, you know? yeah, like, yeah, like like stocks, you know, up, da, 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 da. yeah, but trending upwards if you zoom out, you know? yeah, yeah. And if you're having like something that's making you come down a bit, as long as this is part of a trending up, yes, and you can honestly look yourself in the mirror and say, hey, like this is for the right reason, yeah, then this is this is this is progress over perfection, you know, beautiful. Like like perfection is a fucked up word because yes. firstly it's subjective. And secondly, if you have a perfect 10 and then 11 Perfection comes... Perfection connects too well with the topic of our next episode and I would so much like to tease it. Mark is going to kill me for that, but... Uh, I might also. Let's proceed <laughs> for another... Let's go for another... Yeah, yeah. Let's let's proceed to another comment. Uh, Sailor Mouth 22 Yes, I love this. I don't party if I don't feel good. It's just not fun or worth the possible self-sabotage and post-embarrassment. Uh, you have the day after partying because I'm happy and celebrating my life will always be the move for me. Totally constructive. Yeah, I I I, f- I, f- I felt it was rushed and I did I did like there was like um uh I already wanted to dissect about sort of a word that was in there but it's yeah yeah I feel just in general it's maybe not the best. It's not that we're saying it's wrong, but I, I don't feel that's the best idea to go partying when you feel like you maybe should uh, deal with the feelings. Go through it, suffer a little bit. Yeah, it's no, also but, part but, of life. But but the the issue is when the coping mechanism to dealing yeah. is to party. Yes, that's that's, that's the problem. That's the issue. Yes. That's the issue. And if it's dealing with these, and if that becomes a pattern rather than dealing with like, I need as we said earlier to have an escape from this uh, immediate trauma. Yes. Yes. Good. One more. One more. One more, one one more. more. And then we hook a teaser to the to the next one. Mark has already killed us anyway. We, we, so we don't need to do a teaser for the next one, do we? Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> we should we should we want to keep the people hanging a little bit um, so uh, CSROX says uh, but what if your principles are not aligned uh, what is uh, convenient uh, to what is convenient to you uh, I mean sure in alignment with my principles and, and, and carry but if those lead me to self-destructive behaviors such as constant loop of raving I've known for years in Berlin where always huge amounts of drugs are involved I don't think you can still call that healthy health is health which means preserving ben, your I've got, life I've got, I've got to stop you the comment is so long and yeah, there's yeah, so yeah. many things I can take out of that already and yeah. again so many times I wanted to stop but you the first question was so w- what if your principles are not aligned to when, what is convenient to you, you see know? what is what does convenient mean yeah what, is, what that like like I, I, I can't like I don't know what is trying to be expressed there. I feel like all the people I'm surrounded by are walking on burning coals, just trying to see who lasts the longest. But at the end, it's not because we are enduring it uh, that it is not harming us. Peace, and please take care. There is still much to, to do in life. Man, I, I, I totally agree uh, with with every person that would say that that drugs are bad for you, that uh, not sleeping well is bad for you. I totally agree with, with everything. That's why we are not judging and we're not saying what is right and what is wrong. Uh, what we're saying is uh, you have to just uh, be in balance and to and understand the responsibility that you're taking if you're going into any kind of self-destruction or any kind of celebration or any kind of hedonism. 
you know? And it doesn't mean that you're not aligned with your principles. It doesn't mean that you're not aligned with your principles if you go to restaurants and have uh, three bottles of wine with your friends, you know? It doesn't mean that you're not aligned, you know? Um, ben, you're, like, there's, there's, there's too many, like, it, yeah. we, we're, we, we, this last comment section has been rushed. We, we, <laughs> I, I told you we shouldn't have done we're it gonna, when we got gonna, to the hour. We're going to invest more. We, uh, like, like, we're we, not going to die the, if we the, do another the, minute, the, you know? The, Mark, Mark is, no, uh, no, no, but the pressure, the pr no, but wait, wait. Uh, the, the, pre the pressure was making you rush, which is making me not having time to respond. Uh -huh. and, the, the, and, and Mark is just wondering, and like Ellie's got to the point where she's playing volume on her phone. <laughs> like, like, like it, it was dead three minutes ago. We should have yeah. cut it, and it's fine. Yeah. Like, yeah. like we can't just. We, it, I, I can. <laughs> it was forced. It, it was forced. It was forced. It was I, like, like, CS, like, like, like CS Rex ben, is going to receive more, the, the, more the reply people, the, the next people, time. The people whose comments we read, yeah, they deserve better than the response they got from me. Yes, because we were trying to rush through it. Yeah, and like, hey, like, I didn't mean to be dismissive. I was just trying to rush through it because Mark is getting under, impatient. And Ben, and and Ben, and <laughs> it's all Mark's fault. No, 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 no. With Mark's good reason. Still... With good reason. With good reason. Okay. And I was getting impatient. Myself. Are you okay with us coming back to see us rock uh, next time to see to see how how uh, we, I, can, I, we can reply that? Anyway? I I I would love nothing more. Yeah. But don't fucking start it at fifty nine minutes. Yeah. You because know me. You know me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you yeah, know yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I did, I did. He's giving me tough love. Yeah. You're giving me tough love about yeah, time like, management. Like, well, yeah, because because hey, hey, guess what, Ben? Hey, guess what? I'm fucking good at it. And hey, guess what? You're fucking good at things that I'm not. And that's why we symbiosis yeah. like this. Yeah. Yeah. And like, we, we, we want to give for everyone the, for the, the protocol. Best. For the protocol, why why are we keeping it in the one hour frames? I know it's like a like a standard. Actually, but. actually, good question. Yeah. Because no one said the first one was too long. Yeah. By That's a way, good question. By the way, how many batteries do we have? Two <laughs> percent. Okay, okay, okay. So future episodes may not be sixty minutes to be discussed. Yeah. yeah. Like this, this awkward interaction was out of love, and actually, yeah. I didn't find it awkward. Yeah. I think Ben did a little bit, <laughs> but it's all good. fine. All because good. All good. All good. Love it. This in Bruder. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, tough love number three. I was really happy with this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, man. Me too. It's, uh, I, I enjoy the process. Um, I would like to, as uh, just as a finishing line, I would like to to, to hook on your uh, last uh, comment: uh, uh, progress over perfection. Um, the next episode is going is going to over perfection. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. And uh, I um, I can just canal, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can just uh, tease the the people if they're if they're interested in our next episode. I can just tease a little bit that um, the next episode is gonna going to deal exactly with the term <laughs> of uh, perfection, uh, mediocrity, and uh, how it has been affecting the younger generation uh, and how it has been affecting the the scene of electronic music uh, in general. So and yeah. that is. The teaser you wanted to give yeah yeah thank you thank you again thank you thank you a thousand times thank you <laughs>